Hello everybody, this is Stollers from UnitLoss.com and this is the round of 32. It's the second game in a three-match series between Dzinski and Shibs. This is Cyber.com's StarCraft 2 competition Polaris. It's sponsored by TTE Sports and Club 3D. Check them out, the little logo swirling round in the bottom at right of the screen over the hockey bar, box bar, whatever. You love it, I love it, and we all love it. And um, if you'd like to win yourself a, a swanky graphics card, a GTX 550. Um, play StarCraft 2 pretty damn well. And a dash and mouse map to uh, glide your mouse across, signed by White Raw. Then uh, you need to get your get yourself over to uh, cyber.com forward slash giveaway for more information, baby. Because we all know information is key and critical, just like in StarCraft. If you don't know what the enemy's doing, well, you could just use a blind Marine Marauder to strat and win. <laughs> so. We find ourselves on Zalnaga Caverns. We see a supply depot going down at the front. As we see in almost every single Terran game ever played ever. We see uh, an SCV moving out. We see Lord Hindenburg, the big overlord, the big first, the original overlord moving out. To make his merry way round the side. Oh look at that. Make his merry way round the side of the map. Couldn't have been more pure if I tried. The barracks is going down for Dzinski as well. Too blue, there's the barracks. We've got the gas going in for Dzinski and uh, the spawning pool's coming down for ship. The, uh, the SCV's about to move up and he's going to be able to see what's going on. Let's focus the cam on him so I can be lazy. <laughs> he's going to see the spawning pool. He's going to see uh, no gas. So he's going to think, well, what's going on here? We're going to be seeing a fast expand, are we? Hmm. Is he going to wait over by the natural? No, it looks like he's going to be moving down. Maybe he'll leave that over by the natural. Barracks is complete. Is he going to build a, a marine? There we go. There's a marine for Dzinski. The Lord Hindenburg chap still making his way around the edge of the map. Um, the SUV is making his way back instead of stashing himself at the uh, natural. Keeping an eye on any expansions being thrown down. But there's the gas by Shibs. Or Shib. Shibs as I'm calling him. That's his name from now on. Shibs. Tech Lab's coming in for the barracks. So we're going to see some, uh, maybe some Reapers, maybe? I suppose we could. Always an option on this map. Again, just like Shakura's Plateau. I mean, it's, there's some nice little like ledges and uh, cliff faces you can jump up. Bit of abuse. And we've got the Roach one coming down for Shibs. So maybe Shibs is going to try the same thing he tried the previous game. Um, where he, he kind of... What, did he have three Roaches he sent down? He's taking his natural as well. Tried to put a bit of early pressure on. Um, maybe even try and break the wall in. Although he's starting to produce marauders, this inch gears, and he's going for stim pack first, not the concussive shell. Um, so marauders should eat the roaches for breakfast by the time they get over down to the base. We've got three, yeah, three roaches coming in again. It looks like the same strategy, um, but there is already a marauder out. No, another marauder is not being built, although he could be. He's got his three racks down as well, or he will have. And that is a reactor going down, so it looks like he's going into Marine Marauder. Um, definitely is going into Marine Marauder. It doesn't take a, a brain surgeon to work that one out. We've got the roaches coming down the field, trying to apply some pressure. Under pressure! Dun, 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 dun. Open for uh, Open, there's not any Marauders, basically, but they're going to get a nasty shock because there's two Marauders there and there's a Marine. And there's going to be. Uh, is Stimpak going to be there? I don't think it is, but the Marauders are going to repel them. Easy. Easy meat. Here we go. Here we go. Here come the roaches. Straight up the ramp. Maybe they can take the tech lag out. Or if they take the tech lag, that lag, lag, lag. What the hell? That'll be sickening. Although they're straight away. As soon as they start getting hit by them concussive shells. Or the, uh, they're not concussive shells. What are they? Punisher grenades. Um, they didn't want to know. They were like, no, I've seen enough of this. I'm out of here. <laughs> Look, Dzinski suspected it. He suspected it. The dirty little three roach attack. It. The little timing push, attack, push, whatever you want to say. Didn't work though, did it? Because marauders were there and they had the answers. Slammed them full of punisher grenades and they ran away. Look at them. Oh, please, please, no. It looks like they've come back to work on destructible rocks, you know. Attack something that can't attack them back because that's how they roll. He's starting to bulk up quite a decent number of marauders and marines now. Dzinski is. We do have an overlord getting shot at. <laughs> by three marines. Yeah, he's, he's turned him round. Managed to turn him round, though Shibbo has. And uh, what's he looking to do now? Well, he's starting to uh, cement his position that he's natural. He's got a spine crawler down. Um, 
obviously he'd be fearing some kind of uh, timing push a Marina Marauder heavy timing push which I would suspect Dzinski will be doing um, he, maybe he's waiting for concussive shells to finish before he moves up he's producing a lot of Marines though um, and it looks like he's just, is, is he going to move down? yeah he is generally when they put the door down it means they're going to move <laughs> and to be honest there's not really that much in the way up the top here it ships natural which can really repel it I mean, there are queens. There's three queens, three roaches, and uh, there's a couple of zerglings knocking around. But this is going to be quite a scary attack. This is. I know if I was Shibs, I wouldn't want to be seeing this attack coming in. <laughs> I just would not want to be seeing this coming in because this is, it, like I said, I just would not want to be seeing this coming in. Looking down at my mini map. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Some nice creep tumors there. <laughs> the more the merrier. Oh no. Hey, how is Shib's going to defend this? He's going to need to pull the drones off the line. Yeah, he has pulled the drones. He's going to need the drones. He could lose the hatchery. He's going straight in for the spine crawler. He's stimmed. He's doing a lot of damage. I think he might be able to repel. Oh no. I don't know actually. Yeah, I think he is. I think he's going to repel this. He's taking heavy losses though to Zinchki is. But so is Shib's. He's lost all the drones. It's natural. And it, and it looks like he's managed to win that engagement. So he can take out the hatchery. Is he going to go straight for the jugular though? He is. He's going straight into the main. Oh dear. Shibs is definitely on the back foot. A load of Zerglings have just spawned though. Managed to pick off a few. We have got Zerglings coming in from the rear. So we got a nice surround off. And managed to clean that up. That was well played by Shibs. It was a nice attack as well by Dzinski. Dzinski started to retreat back to his base. I mean he's fairly... Uh, he's secure in his base there. I don't think he can be broken. Not at this stage anyway. Shibs needs to build back his lost drones. Because he lost quite a lot of drones there. If you check out the, the unit's kill tab, look, look at that. 19 workers were killed by the Zinchki. Terrible damage. We've got Zerglings trying to probe the ramp, but they're not really going to get on all too well with the punish grenades in the face, are they? <laughs> and he's taking a third now, so... It's the right thing to do. He knows he's just taking out the army of Dzinchki. Now's the time to expand. What is Dzinchki going to do, though? Is he going to sit back? He can't really afford to sit back. I mean, you can only run for so long off mules. <laughs> and then there comes a point where you need to do something. So really, he needs to move down and take his natural. That's my expert opinion anyway from uh, Mr. Starlosa, the master tactician at unitloss.com. <laughs> Still only operating off three barracks. I mean, he's massively oversaturated there as well. How many do we have? That's quite crazy. Mm. And mules as well, so... It, it, he's frantically spending his money to cinch gears on uh, infantry and units. Uh, well, Marines and Marauders, because I think he's very, very scared of like an imminent attack. Um, obviously, I've got the, the power of the godly spectator. I can see everything, but he needs to expand. It looks like... It, oh, my God, what are you doing to cinch gear? I'm loving your work. I'm loving your work ethic, sunshine. It looks like he's going all in, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think he cares. It's like it's now or never. He's seen enough of the Zerg and he's just going to go in and he's going to ram everything he's got right down his throat. Oh, he's going to love it. Or is he going to love it? I think he's going to love it myself. <laughs> he's pulling everything back, Shibs is. He's dropping as many spine crawlers down as he possibly can. Are they going to be Are they going to be spawned in time? No, I don't think they are. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is going to be sickening. Although there are a lot of SCVs there. <laughs> Use the SCVs as tanks to push him back. The Queen's running away. She don't want to know. She's going to get smashed. She's still alive somehow. How is it possible? Oh, she's gone now. Spine crawlers are going to spawn, but there's that many units here. He's going to lose his natural chips. I bet my ass on it. The natural's gone. Wiped clean. Like a tidal wave of Marines and Marauders have just washed straight over it. Smashed it to pieces. <laughs> it's gone. It's absolutely gone. What has Shib's got? I mean, he's got a base here, which is kind of secure. Um, but, uh, oh dear. He's got some big problems. He's transferring his drones over to that base. Where is Dzinski going to go? Is he going to go left? Is he going to go right? Is he going to go left or is he going to go right? We just don't know. Oh, he looks like he's opted to go into the main. And do as much damage as he possibly can. Going to kill that poor overlord. There are a lot of Zerglings there, though, and they're just going to go straight in. Zerglings are coming in. There's Banelings as well. Oh, that was a nice Baneling bomb that was there. Got straight in there and absolutely murdered loads of Marines. But I don't think it's enough. I think Dzinski looks like he's in a very powerful position now. I mean, he's got zero income. And he does have this base to worry about over here, which is obviously mining from Shibs. 
So he needs to deal him a terminal blow with these units he's got on the field. I mean, there's nothing that can really attack him apart from the the broodlings which spawn out of the buildings. But I, he's going to lose his main. He's going to lose all his tech buildings. He's definitely in a good position. And he's got mules as well, essentially. So he can still he's still mining at some rate, although not as much as uh, Shibs is. So there goes the main for ships. An absolutely crazy manoeuvre by Dzinski. I do love it when people go all in. Some say it's cheesy, but I think it takes balls of steel, my boy. Goodbye, Mr. Evolution Chamber. You've been sent to the abyss. More marines coming in to join in on the party. But if we look at this, the spawning pool's almost back. There's a couple of banelings. I don't know whether... I, I think... Oh, no. I, if the banelings hit, the banelings could destroy this army because I mean they're all highly damaged from the, the shocking addiction to stim they've got <laughs> here we go here we go they're coming down now It's this is it this, this is it I mean if he can manage to take out this expansion with the units he's got there and you know he really needs to do it because we've actually got another hatchery up the top there as well nice hidden hatchery here come the bailings oh 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 no oh the drones have come off the line and the drones made a big difference they're coming off the line Oh dear, Dzinski's lost his army. What's Dzinski got left? I think he's kind of okay there, but he doesn't really have much in the way of... Indeed, it is a predicament of epic proportions. <laughs> well, the Zerglings are not going to get into his base. <laughs> but I'm saying it's all in. <laughs> I loved it though, Dzinski. Don't put yourself down, son. He's going in with these marines as a hero. Lasting. All in. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> What's he doing now? Come on, Dzinski. What you got? Uh, this could be quite interesting. <laughs> What's the unit tab looking like? Mm. The mules are not OP, so. <laughs> but if you look at the portrait, never stare them in the eye because they'll have you over. It's like one of them crazy Jedi mind tricks when the mule stares into your eye and he's like, Hello, sailor. <laughs> well, here we go. This is the last ditch attack by Dzinski. If you can do enough damage, he'll win the day. But the Marines are going to work through the, the Zerglings, though. Oh, I don't know, actually. He's going to be able to take down the Spine Caller. Got more Zerglings coming in. He needs to micro the Marines a bit more. Come on, micro them, Dzinski. Love it. Kill the Spawning Pool. Kill the Spawning Pool. Stop the Zerglings. Oh, no. He's going to get surrounded. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, dear. It's quite bad. Dzinski's army's been wiped out. Uh, he has got two SCVs and a mule and no units. Oh, no, he's got two. Oh, there you go. There's a GG. And hats off to Dzinski. He says good luck in the next round. There's no point in being bitter because, as I always say, you've got to love it. So I've been Stylos from UnitLoss.com. Make sure you check our website out and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Twitter and Facebook as well. And also... Um, Make sure you check out cyber.com and check out the competition giveaway page, which is cyber.com forward slash giveaway for a funky graphics card and a mouse mat signed by White Ra. I've been Stylosa and Dzinski has been beaten 2-0 by Shibs in the round of 32, so Shibs progresses. I'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo.